What's up guys? Today we have a quick tip on how to make your glass look factory fresh. Now this Volkswagen came into here with a lot of dirt, bird droppings, and water spots on the glass. And we're going to show you the quickest way to remove it all, but also to protect it and prevent future damage. So to start off, we're going to clean the glass using glass only. This is a foaming glass cleaner that helps remove any kind of abrasive particles of dirt, road debris, bird droppings. And all you have to do is shake up the bottle and we're going to spray it directly onto the surface. You can see that foaming action. Just like when you're using a foam can, and this helps to loosen up any abrasive particles, and it's also going to make it easier for you to clean it. Now we're also going to be using two towels. We're going to use blue because we've designated these for our windows and glass. Just working in straight lines, we're picking off water spots, pollen, bird droppings, or anything else that's on the glass. You can see all that dirt that's underneath there. We use our second towel to buff off any excess to reveal that streak-free high shine. You can see there's a little bit of residue on the inside of the glass. We'll get that in a minute, but it comes up nice and easily just to reveal perfect clarity and a factory shine. Now next, we're going to tape it down the center to give you guys a 50-50 of what just cleaning the glass looks like and also what claying and then adding a layer of jet seal will do for water beating and also to protect yourself against UV rays or anything else that can stick to the surface. So again, we'll just spray it directly onto the glass. And it's okay if you get a little bit of overspray on your plastics or if you get on the paint, it simply wipes right off. And we're wiping in one direction, picking up the spent cleaner, any pollen, bird droppings, dirt, uh, remaining water spots, or anything else that will stay on the glass. And then we'll come back with our second towel and just buff away the excess. This is gonna prep the surface for the next step. So as you guys can see, I'm on the interior of the car now, and I'm gonna show you one of the quickest and most effective ways to clean your glass. So to prevent any kind of overspray, I'm gonna spray the towel directly using the glass only again. And I'm going to work from the passenger side of the vehicle. This way I'm not fighting the steering wheel or the console or anything else like that, but I can work my way around and get all the way to the bottom. You can also see that I'm cupping my hand, uh, folding it underneath. This way I can get as much of the glass as possible because we all know that the corners and the small crevices are the hardest areas to get clean. So using one towel that has the glass only on there and then folding my hand underneath here, just like I'm doing an underhand toss, remove as much of the dirt and stains in the side of this vehicle. The owner of this car actually smokes quite a bit in this car, so it has some kind of smoke residue. I'm gonna fold the towel over. You can see it's got a kind of brownish residue in there and just buff off the excess. Nice factory clarity, perfectly smooth glass. And now we're ready for the next step in our detailing process. So we're rolling right along with our next step in our detailing process for today. I've got myself a clay block and clay luber and I'm gonna spray it directly on the glass which is gonna add lubrication to safely remove anything that's on the surface, but I'm also gonna spray the block, which is a synthetic rubberized clay material to remove any impurities or contaminants that give a rough feel, a rough look. And at first it's gonna feel kind of rough or it's gonna drag across the surface, but as you pull those impurities out, it's gonna get nice and smooth, slide right across the surface. And I bet you're wondering if glass can actually pollute or grab pollution actually, and in fact it can. You can feel pollen or tree sap or water spots on the glass, but a clay bar or a clay block is a great way to remove it safely without having to polish or use any kind of caustic material. So now that the surface is feeling really slick and smooth, we're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and start buffing off the excess. Using a green workhorse towel, fold it up in four. We're gonna just start working in linear motions, buffing off any of the excess clay luber. And I can feel that the surface is nice and smooth, slick finish, which means that there's no more impurities stuck in the glass. That looks really nice and clear. And now for our final step, we're gonna apply a fine layer of jet seal. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give a barrier of protection against water spots, UV rays, or anything else that can damage the surface for up to 12 months. Let's get to it.
after giving Jet Seal about 15 minutes to cure to the surface, it's time to buff it off. And I'll be using a happy ending towel because this is a super plush towel that picks up any kind of product, polish, wax, glaze, sealants, very easily without scratching the surface. Now you can also see that it comes off nice and easy. That's because I applied a very fine coat that not only saves product, but that saves time for buffing it off. It also ensures a better bond because if you think about it, only the initial layer that's touching the surface is going to be used. The rest of it is unfortunately being buffed off. Now, I'm just about finished buffing this off. And as I said, I have a piece of tape here to show you guys a 50-50 difference between what looks like just cleaning it and also claying it and then sealing it. So to prove this, I've got a cup of water right here. And I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration of what it looks like uh, when you're outside with rain, dew, all that kind of stuff that hits your glass. But in the meantime, you guys can head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, to check out these products for yourself. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, we'll see you right here in the detail garage.